now you can't think of any activity that you do which is not influenced by computers so ai is going to become like that it's going to become one of the foundational technology it's going to impact every aspect of what we do we are grateful to our alumnus uh, mr uh, sunil badwani he looked at what iit madras was doing and he decided to support us very generously with donation of uh, 115 crore rupees using which we have now set up this vadwani school of data science and ai which allows us to synergize all the different uh, uh, ai and data science activities we need to start in india so that's i happened to be in discussions with iit madras at that time and i heard about what was happening over here under professor ravindran on the ai side and i said why don't we scale it up so they've come up with a brilliant plan and we are going to scale this up from just a collection of efforts into a proper department we'll be starting off the bat with 15 full time faculty members which will make us by far the largest ai department of any iit or of 23 iits in india we felt that it is important that uh, we should consolidate all the ai related activities that are happening in the institute under one umbrella so that we can uh, you know synergize better if you look at the genesis of this department it should be taken back to the robert bosch center for data science and ai which itself had an origin in what we called as an interdisciplinary lab which actually has grown to encompass 14 departments in iit madras who are part of the center and doing some form of ai and data science related work sometimes it is in the foundational aspects of ai quite often it is in very very advanced applications in their domains so all these people when they were working together they did see the trends happening in the globe well, and we really needed people not to wear ai as a second hat but wear ai and data science as their primary hat and that could happen only if there was a department so if you look at the market there are plenty of certification courses that you will see so if you have an employee in the manufacturing domain taking a course right certification course necessarily the person is not able to come and solve the problem in the particular domain and that is the biggest barrier that has to be overcome and we acquired that experience and i think that's what distinguishes us from perhaps many programs elsewhere so our department did not set up overnight because we have a center that has metamorphosed into a department no people from electrical engineering people from chemical mechanical biotech engineering design and so on then that has reflected in the curriculum and our interface with the industry is very very strong so the faculty and the program and the courses that we offer are so different from a pure ai department or you know a pure ai program run by cs department in this respect half of the courses are applied in nature we just don't teach pure stats or pure ai and so on we are not only going to teach you about the algorithms of AI and perhaps the systems uh, behind AI, but also how to interface with you know data gathering, data management from different disciplines. And now let's shape the curriculum. You can divide that into three or four parts. You can say one is foundation, math slash science foundations, and of course the statistics foundation. And then you want them to slowly be aware of all the modeling paradigms. So you look at the convolution neural network, or you look at the deep net. Thirdly, how do you train these models on the data? and the algorithms essentially for learning and then the final part which puts everything together is to integrate what they have learned with a domain and that is both in the form of courses and a project so if you look at it that's how the curriculum is shaped in terms of the knowledge and outcomes starting with foundations then models and learning algorithms deployment and then finally application apart from this we also have is an mtech program in data science and ai but interdisciplinary uh, dual degree program on data science masters by research and a phd program we also have an international masters program joint msc program with the university of birmingham in data science and ai so we have this uh, web enabled mtech program on industrial ai which is targeted to working professionals this is a part time program so students do this in the evening so there will be multiple centers that are going to operate now under the umbrella of the vadwani school first of these is the robert bosch center for data science and ai which is an interdisciplinary research center the next is the uh, ibsc which is the center for uh, integrative biology and systems medicine that is ai for bharat which is uh, india's leading uh, research center for uh, building uh, local language indian language uh, Uh, AI tools and models. Center for Responsible AI is also a part of the Vadwani School of AI, which uh, has a platform for bringing policymakers, lawyers, sociologists, economists, and uh, the civil society who are looking at the impact of technology on society to a single platform. 
so that uh, people from different disciplines and different walks can uh, embark on a research career in data science. There's a new center that's coming up called the Walmart Center for Tech Excellence that's going to look at AI uh, in uh, manufacturing. I think the impact of this you're going to see will be cross-cutting. The jobs that we are looking at is uh, spread over all the way from fundamental research in, in labs like Google, uh, Microsoft, Amazon, and so on, all the way to applied sector, to manufacturing, uh, healthcare, etc. So IIT Madras has been at the forefront of AI research for several years now, focusing on building AI as an interdisciplinary research area for uh, better, safer, and responsible deployment of AI. So the idea is to make IITM a national and a global leader in this field.